Hello everyone and welcome back to Narnia Lore. Now first of all I do apologize, it's been forever since I've uploaded a video, but the video I have for you guys today is a whopper. I am super excited for this video. So uh, a couple of you have uh, requested a what if Susan stayed with Caspian. So here it is. So at the end of the movie, Prince Caspian, we all know that Susan and Caspian had fallen in love. And in the movie, we all know they couldn't be together, so they shared a kiss before Susan left, never to return. However, in this timeline, Susan is given the choice to either go back home with her brothers and sister, or to stay with Caspian and rule Narnia once again. And of course, Susan opts to stay. Now, Caspian and Susan are married a couple of months afterwards, and the cleanup of Narnia starts in earnest. Now, at this time, the kingdom is quite prosperous. Kalorman is keeping their distance, and the giants of, in the north are all but extinct, sort of. So, at about three years after Caspian took the throne, he went on the voyage of the Don Treader to find his father's lost lords. Now, this is sort of what the story could go two ways. Either Susan stays to rule in Narnia, which for practical reasons I think this, this would be the case, or she goes with Caspian and they leave Trumpkin in charge, just as in the book. Um, we could do a separate video on if she went with him, but for this timeline, Susan's gonna stay. So after about a year after Caspian returned, uh, their first son, Caspian the 11th, was born. The entire kingdom was rejoicing as they knew that the good King Caspian now had an heir to the throne and hopefully he would be just as good and kind to them as Caspian the Tenth was. However, during this celebration, several members of a cultish age of hags, who called themselves the Apostles, attempted to assassinate the newborn prince. However, the castle guards were too well trained for such an attempt to occur, and one of the apostles was caught before the deed even started. Caspian himself interrogated the one member, but all she said was that Narnia would fall into chaos before the harvest moon rose. Ignoring this threat, Caspian ordered a public execution of the hag, which was completed successfully. However, just after this, one by one, Caspian's nobles and advisors began to disappear. Caspian doubled the guards in the castle and set out scouts to try and hunt them down, but they were never found. Growing frustrated, Caspian ordered a battalion of troops to hunt down the apostles and bring them back to the castle for questioning. However, while he and his wife were out walking in the castle garden one evening, King Caspian was notified that one of the apostles had been captured. In his hurry to start the interrogation, he started to run towards the castle and suddenly remembering he was with his wife and that she couldn't keep up with him in her dress, he jogged back around the corner, expecting to see his wife hurrying along as fast as she could. But when he arrived, Queen Susan was nowhere to be seen. Frantically searching for several minutes, Caspian came to the horrifying realization that she was gone. Sprinting back to the castle, Caspian began asking the castle staff if they had seen his wife. None had, and Caspian went into a panic. Thankfully, Caspian's most trusted advisor, Trumpkin, found him and was able to calm him down. After telling him what happened, Caspian asked Trumpkin if he would take charge for a few days. Caspian explained that he knew he wouldn't be able to make wise decisions in his current state and didn't want the kingdom to, get to suffer because of this. Trumpkin agreed to help his friend and immediately ordered a search party composed of the finest scouts in the entire army to search for the queen. Then. Trumpkin himself went to interrogate the Apostle, per Caspian's request, and Caspian went to check on his son, whom he found fast asleep in his bed. Trumpkin had a unique way of persuading prisoners to tell him what he wanted to know. And when Trumpkin returned to Caspian's chambers, the king was nowhere to be found. Now this is where I'm going to leave it off, sorry, I'm kind of holding you guys in suspense, um, but please uh, let me know your feedback. I want to hear from you guys. Do you want part two? Because I think part two is going to be really exciting. So uh, give this video a thumbs up. Uh, comment down below if you want part two. Also a comment if you want the, uh, the other uh, uh, timeline of if Susan went on the Don Treader with Caspian. Uh, also 
uh, yeah, just let me know if you guys want that. But yeah, um, like I said, this is this is great. I'm really excited for this uh, for this story, and um, yeah, I will catch you all later on the next episode of Narnia Lore.